podcast. Today I wanted to share with you my six favorite essential oil blends. So my first um, blend that I'm going to share with you is a cleaner. And this one just says kitchen because I have one in the kitchen and in both bathrooms. And it is just a mixture of water and vinegar. And then um, some a couple of drops of essential oil. Um, usually I put about a cup of vinegar, about 15 to 20 drops of whichever oil. I'm um, probably closer to 15 of oil that I'm going to use. This one has tea tree in it right now because it's good for cleaning. And then I fill it the rest of the way with water. So that's what's in this one. And like I said, I use this for everything. It's just, I even use it on my mirrors. Like it's just good for everything. Um, the second one that I want to share with you is what um, people call poopery. And I had these J.R. Watkins room fresheners and we used them all. So then instead of throwing this away, I just made my own. Um, and this one has water, witch hazel, and essential oil. And basically, it's just uh, a third of the way uh, witch hazel and then or alcohol. You could do uh, rubbing alcohol as well. Um, but a third of the way. And then do like maybe five to eight drops of essential oil. This one has lemon in it. I don't suggest putting um, acidic oils in plastic bottles because... It can um, eat away at the bottle, but we use this so fast that I haven't had a problem with it. So um, this one has lemon and you just spritz it and it smells so good and you just use it like a air freshener. And it's, I mean, I just basically sprayed that in my face. It's nothing in it that is um, going to be harmful to you. Um, let's see. The next thing that I'm going to share is this cold buster blend and it's like <laughs> the labels have kind of rubbed off. But, um, what you do with this is rub it on the back of your neck and on the bottoms of your feet. And this is just to help with, uh, cold symptoms and to just keep you, um, help keep the germs away. If you don't have a cold, you can use it like before you go to the grocery store or something like that. Um, and this one has Copaiba, Thieves, and RC, and then I just fill it the rest of the way with, like, olive oil or something like that. Um, and Copaiba is a tree, so it's the oil from a tree. And then Thieves and RC, um, those are both, um, blends that are, uh, Young Living blends. This one is Thieves, and then we have RC. Um, and I'll tell you what they have in them real fast. RC contains eucalyptus, myrtle oil, marjoram, pine, lavender, and cypress. And this is really good for like um, breathing. Like I use this to rub like on my daughter's chest with a little bit of lotion to help you breathe. And then Thieves has... Uh, let's see. It has clove, lemon, cinnamon, eucalyptus, rosemary, and that's it. And this smells so delicious. And it is really, really good for germs. Um, then my next blend that I'm going to share with you is what I like to call Happy Mama. It doesn't have a label on it, um, but I know what it is. And I... Usually just put this on my pressure points, put it on my wrist, and I kind of rub them together, and you can put it on the back of your neck as well. Um, I call it Happy Mama, but you do not have to call it that. You can call it whatever you want. You don't have to call it anything if you don't want to, but I had um, thought about making my son one of these blends because he gets a little, um, a little bit anxious every once in a while and, you know, mood swings and stuff like that. So this is really good to help kind of ground you, calm you down, um, and... The oils that are in here is lavender, stress away, valor, and cedarwood, and then filled the rest of the way with uh, olive oil. And you can um, tailor the drops of oil to um, your liking. Like if you don't like lavender, then just leave that one out. But um, I think this has about five to six drops each of those oils, and then just filled the rest of the way with olive oil. Um, a lot of people like to use fractionated coconut oil um, because it's liquidy. I tried to use regular coconut oil and 
it is like um solid like i melted it to put it in here but then it uh solidified again so it's hard to get it to come out you have to warm it up before um you can use it which is fine i just don't like to do that so once this is gone i won't use regular coconut oil again but i call this headache be gone and it has peppermint lavender frankincense and copaiba and um a blend that i saw i can't remember exact the exact amount of um drops that i have in here but a blend that i found was uh 15 drops of peppermint 10 of lavender 10 of frankincense and 10 of copaiba um and i probably have about half of that in here if i have my guess because it just works and now i've got like can you see that sorry i'm trying to sit in front of the window to get good lighting but now it's just making me look like a zebra but oh well um, but this, you do the same thing. You rub on the bottoms of your feet and you rub it on the back of your neck. Um, and this, you can also take and run across your forehead. Um, because this I have in a roller bottle. So, and I actually do have a little bit of a headache. So, but um, and there's probably nothing coming out because it's not regular coconut oil. I mean, fractionated coconut oil. But anyway, uh, just be careful when you're doing it like this not to get it in your eyes because it will burn. Um, and it's already, you're using an oil with it, so it's already diluted, but, um, some people can just use it neat, which is just putting it straight on. Um, but I would be very careful of doing that because it can burn you, especially with the peppermint being in there. Okay. And then the last one that I'm going to share with you is, um, this one and it's just a flu blend. And it's similar, I guess, to the Cold Buster one, but this one is tailored specifically for the flu. And the reason that I mix this up is because both of my daughters were sick a couple of days ago. One of them, we are pretty sure, had a stomach flu. Um, so this has thieves, oregano, frankincense, lemon, and lavender. And just about uh, four to five drops each of those and then fill the rest of the way with coconut oil. Um, now the reason, uh, thieves is in there is for the germs. Frankincense is just good for everything, uh, body aches and things like that. Lemon is, uh, antimicrobial and then the oregano also. And the lavender helps to pull out, sorry, I'm trying to get out of <laughs> the little lights. Um, but lavender is good to help pull the uh, fever out. So that it's it's perfect for that. And this really, really helped us along with some other things that we used. But I definitely use this a lot. Um, and they were only sick for about three days. And then um, Noah, she probably has just like a cold. Um, and I've actually been using that on her as well, and it's been helping. Um, but I need to use more of a cold uh, blend for her. But for the flu, for my older daughter, Anaya, this was great. Um, I believe my husband had went in there uh, in their room because that's where she was at most of the time. And uh, he was going to give her medicine, which I do not like to do. Um, and I believe she asked for the oils. Um so that should just let you know that they work she was very very sick but um that is my top six favorite oil blends that we use the most um besides this one but i just this worked so well i could not share it with you so yeah if you have any other questions or if you would like to see another video like this uh, maybe on a little bit different um blends or something like that because I use some, I have a blend that I use for under my eyes. Um, I have some that I use on my face because I have adult acne pretty bad. Um, I have some oils that I use in my hair. Um, I have oils that I use for deodorant. So I could do another video. But if you would like to um, leave any suggestions of different videos or something like that down below, just comment. Uh, if you just want to talk, leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.